Hi guys, <laughs> another video on this Faraday flashlight. Um, I'm waiting for a nickel metal hydride battery that I've ordered off eBay so we can actually replace the original and see how it goes with a like for like replacement. In the meantime, I've been thinking about the supercapacitor that I did put in there which was this one, which is 10 farads. And basically, we just couldn't charge it up with uh, shaking it backwards and forwards. We couldn't get enough charge into there in a reasonable length of time for it to actually light up brightly. So I had a little think. I've got my twin engine mosquito, isn't it? Sorry about the delay there. The old brain doesn't work very quickly nowadays. Yeah, free flight, twin engine mosquito made from polystyrene pizza trays. I used to use them for everything because we used to get these black polystyrene trays underneath the pizzas when we used to buy them. They don't seem to do that anymore or at least not the pizzas that we buy. Anyway, I've got two, two farad micro farad, uh, yeah, two farad um, supercapacitors on here, one for each motor. So I'm thinking I'll take one off and use that and see if we can charge that up by shaking the Faraday flashlight that be today's little project. Get that one off there. I don't really want to throw this one away. I haven't actually flown it for years, but it was one of the first YouTube videos I did, or one of the early ones. Oh, I'm just looking. That's five farads. I thought they were two farad. Oh, hang on. In that case, uh, we'll stop there. I won't take that one apart. I'm sure I've got some two farad ones somewhere. Right. We'll stop there. That one will survive another day. Uh, I'm sure I got some two farad somewhere. Well, we'll forget about the supercapacitor for a minute because I have found in my stock a tiny lipo battery. I've just measured it and it's actually fully charged. Um, so I will fit it and then discharge it and see if we can recharge it. So you don't need to watch me do that. I will solder it in place and see if it works. At the moment, there's no capacitor, no battery in there at all. So if I shake it, it's powering the LED directly. So we will put this in circuit. Initially, it will light the LED, but we'll let it run down and hopefully be able to recharge it. There is a resistor in there. So hopefully that will protect the LED from the 3.7 volts on the lipo well you can charge them up to a four point something 4.2 which will probably blow up the led I'm not too worried about that at the moment all right lipo in place so we'll put it back together i could just press the button yeah plenty of light from that but we need it to discharge to see if we can recharge it yeah, I'll leave it powered up and let it discharge, see how long it goes for. I should imagine it'll go for quite a while. Then the question will be, can we recharge the LiPo when we've let it run down too far? Because LiPos don't like being over-discharged. And we haven't got any um, protection on it at the moment, so it can go too far down nearly half past 11 this 
has been running off that lipo battery since I think it was five past five. I'll check the timestamp on the video, but I'm pretty sure it's five past five. So six hours, over six hours, nearly six and a half hours, isn't that? And it's still a light. It's gone a lot dimmer than it was. So what I'm going to do is put the camera on the tripod and then give this a good shake and see if we can actually build the brightness up again, which will be a bit difficult to tell. Um, oh, I know what I could do. I'll just turn the lights out a minute. All right, we can see it on that wall. So we'll try and compare the brightness when I've shaken it a bit. We'll use a different wall because we're slightly further away from it. I've got the torch uh, here. <laughs> so I'll just turn the light out and we'll see how bright it is at the moment. Okay, we can see it. I'll put the light back on again and I will shake it for, I'll shake it for a minute. So I'll, I'll turn it off. Yeah, we're off. So I will shake it for a minute. Because the lipo might restore itself a little bit anyway, so this may not be a good test. Right, that's a minute. I'll put the light out and switch the torch on afterwards. So light out, torch on. Oh, look at that. That is much brighter. Oh, wow. But as I say, that could have just been the lipo restoring itself. Um, Oh, it's dimming down a little bit as we watch it. But I'm quite impressed by that. Yeah, that is dimming down anyway. What we could do is I, I will switch it off again for a minute and then switch it back on again and see if it goes any brighter again, whether it's the lipo restoring itself because sometimes they do that when they've got no load obviously they don't recharge themselves fully but they do restore a bit i'm just waiting to see if it goes any dimmer my perception is it's going a bit dimmer than it was right i'm going to switch it off talk amongst yourselves for a minute Would have been handy if I'd have put a digital clock on the cam on the camera so we could see it.
Right, that's about a minute it's rested. So I'll switch it on again. Mm, does that look a bit brighter? I think that looks a little bit brighter. So it probably did restore a bit, but I think we actually increased the power anyway. I will try shaking it and see if I can keep the light on there. that look brighter? Can't be sure. Yeah, really can't be sure. Because they have this habit of restoring themselves slightly with no load. We really can't tell. I'll have to do some further tests. That'll do for now though. I mean, certainly we can run it off a LiPo battery. Whether we can get any useful charge back into it, I'm not sure. But it is usable light. It's really not very bright, obviously the camera We'll be making it look brighter than it really is but i could see my way around if i had to using this i'm just going to repeat that test a second time so i've left it standing for another minute okay that's our brightness i'll turn it off again and shake it for a minute Right, I've charged it, light going on. Oh, I think that is brighter. I think it is. I think we are getting some charge into there. Maybe. <laughs> I just cannot be sure, as I say, with the fact that they do restore a little bit when they're not being used. It's certainly nothing like as bright as it was when it was fully charged. And I'm not going to stand here for half an hour or more trying to charge it up. But that is usable. We can see, you can see the bin over there. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.